All right. Oh, gosh, we'll have some slides soon on the project. We're about to start the yes, presentation. Yeah, we have it. So this is yes, of course. So uh, hello, everyone. I'm Andres. I work at Amdego, and uh, we recently did the pro detection uh, project. Uh, the, we implemented the whole thing in R, so I will uh, stick to R mostly. Uh, well, I can see the slides, so I will just move on. So the first uh, thing uh, that uh, after the contract, uh, we uh, promised the client to, if we get uh, the data that uh, that the client promised uh, to give us daily on daily basis, then at, on daily basis uh, we will give him uh, several features uh, computed uh, about the, the insurance claim. Uh, so uh, the client wanted to uh, have a really comfortable uh, system. Uh, which meant that uh, that uh, the insurance firm just upload the data to an FTP server, and uh, then the next morning uh, getting an email uh, with the new data about the new uh, claims, and uh, and of course he the company had a, a different system. Well, I can actually say something. Okay. So uh, they had another program, and uh, we had to uh, upload some uh, some process data to their FTP, FTP server. So uh, we needed to do all this in R, including getting the data through FTP uh, to identify customers because they didn't have any uh, customer identification. Uh, we had to uh, connect to uh, external and internal databases and uh, create an Excel file. It was a uh, uh, pretty good uh, task, and uh, we send it in R and then upload the results in FTP. So this was basically the data flow I, I told you about. So first, uh, we try to uh, create uh, <coughs> the databases. First, uh, we had uh, some uh, problems because one of us uh, used uh, a Windows machine and one of us used the uh, uh, Ubuntu machine. This meant that we were prepared for uh, character encoding problems and uh, and file pro problems, but we but we could manage that. But we didn't. Uh, but what we were uh, prepared for was the RMIS, RMISQL package's uh, strange behavior because we used uh, DB list tables. Uh, Function to list all the uh, all the table names, and then on Windows it gave us lowercase uh, names, and on Ubuntu it didn't. So uh, it was a bit of uh, code uh, debugging there. You should be prepared for that. Another problem was uh, that uh, that uh, we sometimes lost the connection to the local da the database, not just uh, the remote database. Uh, so we came up with a solution to create a, a variable inside the function, function but uh, we created the variable, we exported the variable uh, to the global environment. I don't know how many of you know this uh, double arrow sign and how much of, how many of uh, you use them. Could you put up your hands? Okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> so yes, uh, the external database on another uh, challenge because uh, we you had to use uh, SSH uh, tunnel, and uh, first of course uh, we we tried with uh, creating a different uh, a tunnel in a different terminal, and then just uh, use uh, the as the external connections uh, would be a local database, it worked, uh, but uh, this way R couldn't uh, manage that uh, connection uh, properly, so we tried to uh, manage the connection in R with the system uh, command, it didn't work. It, we couldn't find a way, so if anyone uh, 
can tell me how how can someone manage SSH connections uh, from R, please tell me in the happy rate or something. But uh, other than that, we had no, uh, no uh, great problems. So we have the connections. Uh, let's download the data from the FTP server. Uh, we had we. We found that, of course, you can read FTP data from uh, R, the base R, but uh, we had authentication, which uh, wasn't implemented in, uh, in the base package. So uh, we used the RC URL uh, package. I highly recommend it. It's uh, really uh, handy a lot of times. Uh, yeah, but. After we get the data, we had to clean it because uh, although it was open, but it generated, uh, it was generated by scripts made by people, which uh, meant that we had uh, some really strange uh, uh, errors, like uh, headers in column names in uh, the middle of the file, uh, uh, or five with, five with uh, zero data, data, not even the header in them. So uh, we ended up creating a unique parser for uh, those files. Another problem uh, when you uh, directly cleaning the data, I mean, I mean hand handling uh, character strings and uh, and uh, checking variables, uh, that you can e easily uh, run out of memory. So uh, we came up with the solution to uh, use a system command. To, uh, to run a new uh, R session, which used uh, the data cleaning script. This way, when the data cleaning script uh, ended, uh, all the used, uh, all the used uh, memory became free, while if we just saw, uh, used the, if we would use the source uh, command to run the script, uh, and after remove all the objects and use the garbage collector, we couldn't uh, get back all the memory we needed. So uh, it's another useful lesson uh, from that. Who knows where is this picture from? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, great. So uh, those of you who don't know, this is from Black, 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 Back to the Future uh, 2. Uh, when when uh, Jessica Parker reads uh, his older, her older uh, self. And uh, I choose this picture because they are the same person, exactly. And this is what we were trying to do with uh, different uh, records to uh, connect. And this is what the feeling I had when I wrote the free version of it. So uh, what, what was the problem? Uh, if you had to find different... Uh, the same people in different uh, databases, you have some uh, features, basic features. You have to check the name, the birthday, the address, or uh, the mother's name. They are pretty basic, but uh, there are a lot of uh, missing data from them. So uh, we try to find some minimal, uh, minimal criteria to, uh, to match them. So uh, we decided to use three of, uh, of the four uh, features, but in different combinations. It meant uh, three different merges, uh, which was also pretty uh, heavy on memory, but, uh, but, we, but we could manage it with, it with uh, data on table. Data dot table. Uh, also, data table has a mesh dot data dot table uh, function. But it's uh, much less efficient and uh, much slower than they, uh, their original uh, indexing. So uh, it is uh, worse to dive into the data table uh, package. Also, we should uh, be able to manage uh, typos. Don Johnson and John Johnson may be the same person, but. Uh, we didn't found uh, a memory uh, a solution which is easy on memory uh, for this test. So again, if anyone knows anything, please tell me. 
So this is a an example of what we uh, wanted to wanted to achieve uh, with uh, with our script. We have the first and the two records, uh, which is uh, which are are not uh, the same person uh, on our on our criteria. But after we had the third record, we could connect them. So for this, uh, we used IGRAP. Uh, I really like IGRAP actually, but it's uh, it, it doesn't really uh, fit in the memory we had. So uh, we had to do a lot of uh, a lot of effort to uh, shrink the data to the size where we where we were able to uh, manage the creative graph. After we created the graph, it was pretty easy. We just uh, extracted the components and gave an ID for each. So after this step, we had every data. We computed the uh, variables. A boring uh, thing. It wasn't exactly uh, challenging because Ari is prepared for that. So uh, after that, I tried to create an Excel file uh, with conditional formatting, which. Uh, which was much more difficult than I thought. So first, uh, I used the XLSX uh, package, which is great for uh, handling Excel files. Really. Uh, creating and uh, creating the workbook and adding uh, data frames is easy and pretty st straightforward. Uh, but adding formatting to the cells is a uh, is a hassle, really. Uh, I ended up with a solution that that uh, used a lot of uh, uh, for loops. Uh, I chose every sheet, I chose every row, I chose every cell in the row, and uh, tried to apply uh, a cell style, uh, which wasn't as easy as I thought. And you know, days of uh, browsing Stack Overflow and Google. Uh, I couldn't find an easy solution. This was the best I could uh, achieve. And uh, of course, uh, save as soon as possible, as well as your code uh, every, every time. So what we learned? First, it's easier to use the same operating system for every, uh, every developer because it may break things. Uh, never trust incoming data, even if, if it's uh, ultimately generated because it was made by scripts, which was made by people. So, uh, yeah, R is great, but uh, the moderator, if you, if you use uh, the system uh, function and, and just export different uh, tests to uh, different uh, processes, uh, use data table, it's really great uh, for a large amount of data if you have uh, small amount of memory, and uh, yeah, we did it in R. It's great. <laughs> we will try to expand them and uh, make it much more better. So thank you for uh, being here. Any questions? Or? I don't know how much time. Oh yeah, we have. So questions? Let's see that you were really good. Maybe just a suggestion. Have you tried to work with the fuzzy zone effect? No, I haven't found that. Because that's fuzzy. I've learned two files with the piece of non magic template. Okay, thank you. Thank you.
Sorry, again. Uh, do you have a proposed uh, GitHub repo for formatting Excel files? Not yet. Not yet. What do you mean? I plan to do something, but I don't know yet. Uh, I don't think I can have the time for that, but I will try uh, to write blog posts and uh, create GitHub uh, repository. Okay. Thank you very much again on that.